Hi. Whoa, that's a bad angle. We're gonna play some skirmish. Of course, I just did my video about I'm definitely gonna make more videos. I'm so inspired. And you know what happened? You know what happened? Of course, my luck. My tripod broke. <laughs> my little... <laughs> the little ball joint on my tripod. Uh, my cheap, crappy tripod broke. And so, uh, I can't do the still shots. Of course, that's just my luck. This is what happens. This is what happens when I try to do nice things, okay? This is why I don't do nice things, because this happens. <laughs> Mental health. It's important. Go paint some minis and get grumpy about it. I have about an hour and a half to get through some games. Uh, I am probably... I haven't played for a long time. I'm probably going to mess a lot of these rules up. Feel free to let me know. Uh, but we're just going to try and grind through. Because I want to play a game. Especially after that trouble. It's like the world is trying to stop me from making a video. And I'm not going to let it happen. Damn it. Urgh. <laughs> so. Uh, we've got camera A. Hi. That's me. Which will actually flip... Uh, to show you, oh, can I flip it whilst we're recording? Oh, I have to stop. That's okay, because I have camera B. Look at that. Seamless. Uh, camera B, uh, which is, you know, the tabletop, top down. Now, it's coming from, like, the west rather than the north. I guess maybe I make that the south and this the north, and I'm playing east to west. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's kind of the plan there. But, uh, yeah, so you can see camera, camera B... And I can see camera camera A. Look, see, look, I'll take a photo of camera B. Look at that mess. Don't worry. One day I will tidy this up. Also, if we jump back of camera, this stuff will get cleared out at some point. I'll actually tidy this up a bit better. But I really want to do this. I have a few minutes, you know, 90 minutes to get this done. That's the plan. We're going to do it. Um, I have two teams, which we'll take a look at in a second. Um, but first, let's work out how many objectives we're going to do. So it's D3. Plus, well, we're just going to do D3 today, uh, which is two. two object Let's do D3 plus two, so otherwise it's going to be too boring just to do that. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to get four, four dice, and I'm just going to kind of scatter them around, except that's not going to work because I'm a terrible human being. So let's chuck one there, one over there somewhere. Maybe we'll move this a little bit over that way. So there we go. That's where our, that is where our um, objectives are going to be. Um, pretty straightforward. I've got a turn counter here. Uh, I've got um, this grey one with the mushrooms is going to be the the dwarves teams sort of uh, keeping track of their stuff. And this one here, which has the little green mushrooms, has the green base instead of the grey base. That's for the goblins. We're doing dwarves versus goblins today. Let's take a look at the armies. On the north face of the Igrit's Leg Mountains lies Shieldvale. Also known as Defon Targ Strath in the ancient Dwarvish tongue, this bastion of safety sits on the front lines, protecting the civilized races from the vagrant ne'er do wells who dare cross the borders of the Orc lands of Krishin. Outriders and patrols of Dwarvish warriors frequently scout the valley between the borderlands. Their role? To keep any interlopers from corrupting the lands they protect. But there comes a point where the fertile alpine lands end and the corrupt swamps of blood begin. Here lies ruins, home to countless number of vile denizens. The swamps themselves emit an evil so foul, no civilized folk won't dare touch it. But these are the playthings of the dark shamanistic monsters that actively seek to inhabit such places. Swamp goblins of the Dark Fang tribe are one such cohort. Their raiding parties often venture out from the edge of the forest to pillage and plunder what they can find from the villages that lie beyond their dark reaches. One such object of desire, Mana Shard, a confluence node of leyline energy. Corrupting a Mana Shard will corrupt an area and allow the swamps of blood to grow. Our battle here today takes place where these two worlds collide, as raiding party and outrider patrol engage in a skirmish to secure the leyline nodes and bring victory to their clans. Alrighty, you'll have to forgive the shaky cam, and that's very dark. <laughs> I don't know why it's so dark. Anyway, maybe it's just the paint job. These are my goblins, my, my gobbly goos. Uh, we've got a goblin leader, quality 5, defense 5, tough 3. He's from the forest clan. Uh, he's got a hand weapon, and he's a shaman with caster 2. Uh, so he's got 2 magic points to spend. 
Um, I'm not entirely sure how magic works, so we'll we'll look into that. I might even skip it today, just for the purposes of getting this done. So that's the Goblin Army, very small. Oh, sorry, that's the leader. I should tell you the rest, huh? Three shooters, uh, quality five defense, six with three hand weapons and three short bows. They have 18-inch range, one attack. Three warriors, they have three hand weapons with A1 attack. Uh, they have quality five defense, six. Uh, and they are also of the Forest Clan, like the leader. They have Strider, which means they can kind of ignore the cover. We have Zorak the Troll! Uh, fan favorite in my family, Zorak. He's quality 4, defense 4, tough 3, and has a heavy hand weapon, which is attack A3, AP1. Um, yeah, lots of fun there. Um, oh, he has regeneration and tough 3, I should say, as well. Uh, and the hero obviously has hero and tough 3. So, that's the first, guys. Sorry about shaky cam. My tripod broke. <laughs> Let's see the dwarf. All right, again, I'm going to try to avoid shaky cam. These are the dwarves on their little mountain there. We have a dwarf champion who is fearless hero, slow, tough three. He's quality three, defense four, tough three. Hand weapon, A3 uh, attack and one AP. He's also a rune lord caster. As I said, we're going to say maybe both the casters... Cancelled each other's spells out today. Uh, you know, they, they did a ritual ahead of time so that they don't have to worry about that. Uh, there's two marksmen. Now, they are individual units. They are not like a unit together. Um, the same for there's two miners. They are um, individual units, not units together. The marksmen are quality four, defense five, uh, with hand weapons, attack one, and a rifle, 18 inches, attack one, AP one. Miners are... Uh, oh, they have explosives. I didn't know that. They have ambush and slow, uh, and they have explosive, which is a 12-inch range, attack 1, AP 1, and they have a pick, which is attack 1, AP 1. And then there's three warriors. They have shield wall and slow. They have three hand weapons, each one attack 1. They are a unit, the warriors. They have to move together. They don't have a choice. Um, yeah, sound good? Sounds good to me. One last thing we need to do is talk a little bit about the table. What's the table look like? So we've got these, these hills. I'm going to say any tree is going to count as sort of cover. Um, this forest area is cover. This is uh, the swamp area. We'll talk about the swamp in a second. Uh, that's cover. That's cover. That's cover. Uh, these hilly areas are elevated. Uh, and so I'm going to say that where they've got a hard edge, they are Im impassable. Where they've got a smooth edge like that, you can climb up them. Uh, and then they'll be elevated if you're if you're on top, um, so you can maybe like fall down. Um, but yeah, they're impassable. This one over here, kind of, it's got semi-smooth, whatever. So we'll just count that as elevated. The swamps, the goblin swamps, are going to be um, they're just going to be difficult terrain to to get through. Um, any forest area is going to provide cover um, and be difficult terrain to get through. If you draw a line of sight through an individual tree, then that's going to give you give you some cover as well. Um, otherwise, this little tuft of of, of dirty grass uh, or, or the forest or the swamp there will difficult to get through. Uh, pretty straightforward. That is the that is the map. Let's um, let's get cracking because we only have I don't know less than less than that left. <laughs> See you there. Deployment, uh, I've marked the 12. Now, because this board, this board is 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters. So the way we're going to deal with this uh, now and all future, you've heard me say this before, we use centimeters that halves the everything, basically a little bit more than half. Now this obviously causes the problem that these bases can be quite large if we do that. So the way we're going to overcome that is we'll measure from center to center of everything and that kind of bypasses that so that's that's the way we do it here on the rj channel uh it's always centimeters it just makes the play space more because like this is what like 60 is like two what, what is that i don't even know feet right like 12 plus 12 is uh you know 30 so 12 is 30 centimeters so it's two foot by two foot almost i think but if we do this as like 60 
and we're using centimeters instead of whatever, then it's like, you know, almost six foot by almost six foot, right? So that's what we want. That's a happy days, right? Maybe five foot by five foot. It, it makes it easier for us. Anyway, deployment for the dwarves. We've got the leader here, uh, kind of, you know, he's he's out on his own. These little guys, I realized they're basically on the on the objective to start with, so why not do that? The marksmen are going to take an elevated position to get some sort of advantages, line of sight. The miners, where are the miners? Who knows? Uh, they have ambush. They'll come up some turn after turn one, apparently. Uh, these guys, uh, the, the forest goblins, are going to go in the swamp. Oh, that's a terrible angle. Let's see if we can get a nice angle. Not really. It's not easy to get a nice angle when you're going backwards. This is why I should go north to south, not west, east to west. Anyway, leader and the three warriors, which all have strata, getting ready to make a run through the swamp there. That's a better angle. I should have done that in the first place. Uh, the archers are... Oh, you should turn. Their plan is to try and pick up this thing and then head up to the elevated ground to maybe also get an elevated position. Though they're very close to those uh, those dwarven warriors if they do that. So maybe that was a mistake. But whatever, we'll see. And the the troll, is uh, he does not have strider. He's going to be going through uh, you know, the pass to try and make a break for, for that other... Other objective. There we go. Turn one, commence. Alrighty, turn one, movement. The dwarves are the attackers, the goblins are the defenders, so the dwarves went first, and they very cunningly uh, were like, we're just going to activate our marksmen and make you do all the movement yourself, because we're not moving, we're just here to shoot. And that's fair. <laughs> uh, the ranged guys for the goblins moved up. Now, they don't have the strider, uh, Forest Clan upgrade. I could not afford that in the 150 points that we are playing. Um, so they have to like shimmy around the difficult terrain. But they're going to capture that point on their way to the hill, which was what we said their plan was. Anyway, uh, the, the dwarf leader then was like, okay, well, I'm going to go capture this point. You want to take me on, champion? To which uh, the goblin leader was like, yeah, I'll take you on. I'm just going to move through this cover and also difficult terrain uh, because I take no penalties. Uh, the warriors... Well then, like, okay, well, we are here. We're just going to take a few steps forward. Because we are slow. We're going to take our time. Uh, and then the Goblin Warriors were like, we're going to join our leader. Because, yeah, why wouldn't we? Uh, the Miners are not here. So we were left with the Troll who's like, since everyone's capturing points, why not me? And that is uh, turn one sort of uh, movements. Have I done this wrong? I think I have. I think you're meant to do shooting and stuff, right? But I'm pretty confident no one is in range as of yet. This might be the problem with this strategy from those marksmen. Let's have a look. Ow. Cut myself on my stupid thing. They have an 18-inch uh, range, which means they can't see anyone until they step out of the forest. All right, remembering we're going center to center. So they can't see anyone, and likewise... They can't see anyone either. So there is no shooting. No one's close enough to be in a melee. End of turn one. As we start turn two, the dwarves have captured one objective. The goblins have captured two. Uh, and we've we've flipped them over nicely, given them some, some space. My camera's going out of focus now. There we go. It's because i got the wide-angle lens. All right. So, uh, turn two. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. What are we going to do? Let's have a look at how the turn rolls. Okay, turn two. The first, uh, the way it works, apparently, is the unit who finishes their activations first get to um, get to do do their thing. And so these these dwarves are just going to hold the line because um, you know they're holding on to their objective. Happy days. That's their first activation. The goblins, on the other hand, are going to rush up and charge up to try and capture this objective. Uh, and that, so it was a rush, which is 12, right, for them. Uh, and that then leaves them open to attack from uh, these these dwarfy gents uh, on the hill. So we are going to do those attacks. Just going to make sure my tape measure is long enough. Uh, yeah, so we can see from center to center, they are definitely within the 18 that they need to be. That's right, isn't it? Oh, wait. Oh, no, they're minors with 12. Yes. Rifle, 18. So, we have... I'm going to start with... Now, remember, these guys are individuals, too. So, this is a group, but these are individuals. So, technically, they probably didn't even finish first, but I've messed that up. 
that's all right. We'll just live live with our errors. So uh, I get one attack with this guy. See, I'm used to these big army. I've been trying to play these big army games, and I just can't do it. So they're shooting. They've got a quality of four. Marksman one. Going to take a pot shot at this this gentleman here. Here we go. Quality of four. He does not hit, uh, and that's uh, that's a pity for him, uh, I guess. <laughs> and he's just going to otherwise chill out there, because why wouldn't you? Uh, now the goblin's turn to do some movement. Alrighty, the goblin's turn. They moved their six centimeters, six inches, whatever you want to call it, uh, and they have taken up a position on the hill, and they are in a good position, because they... Oh, I don't know if you can see this. We might cut to camera B for that one. Uh, they can reach... In fact... Can they reach? Or they're just short of reaching the marksman. But they can reach all the other folks. So that's great news for them. They are going to try and take a shot at these guys. Um, I couldn't see the shooting modifiers. I would assume that because they moved, there'd be a negative one. And I have a feeling that like there's a long range and a short range. But it's been a long time since i played this game. So if you know those rules, let me know. I'm going to give them like a one... Uh, one well, yeah, one harder to hit. Um, because they moved and are shooting. I don't know if that's a thing. So if that's not a thing, let me know. If it is a thing, let me know. Unlike the marksmen, they are in fact a group. They have quality five. So they're needing sixes to hit our little dwarves. Let's see how they go. Uh, none of them hit. A sad face for the goblins. Uh, and that is their turn. And now, uh, I think while we're here, we might as well just cut straight to the marksmen. The other marksman is going to shoot these uh, these little guys as well. Uh, and he is got a quality of four. And we know he's in range. Here we go. Kapow. That is not four plus. Wow. This game's just going to drag on, isn't it? I'm going to be late to pick up my kids. Uh, anyway, there we go. Let's see who's next on the agenda. Next on the agenda is the troll. He is going to charge up... Uh, he's 12, well, not charge, was it rush. He's not in range to charge, but he's going to rush up so that he can... Uh, he's like, you know what? I'm going to do better than just take one of these objectives. I'm going to take two, and he's getting ready to uh, knock out these these warriors. Though he's probably made a mistake, because they might be able to charge him next turn. Oh, yep. <laughs> they just are in range. So that could be a mistake, but uh, we'll see how that is. But then, on this side of the field, uh, old kingy runecaster... Dwarven hero extraordinaire is going to try chopping at these goblins. R.I.P. these goblins ahead of time, but uh, here we go. So uh, he is slow, so his charge is only eight, but he was well within eight. What does fearless do? Whenever a unit uh, where most models have this rule fails a morale test, roll one die, four plus it counts as passing. That's pretty good. And hero, what's hero do? Units within 12 may take morale's test using their thing. Okay, well, that's good to know. Well, he has three attacks, which means I need another dice. I need another red dice. Oh no. There we go, there's one left. Alright. Uh, we are gonna roll his attacks. So, using his heavy hand weapon, he has three attacks. He has quality three plus uh, def versus their defense. The warrior's defense is six plus, so... R.I.P. these guys. Also, they're like fancy melee unit, like group unit, so they just get dead, except for the last guy. Anyway, here we go. Let's see if the king kills him. Oh, that's a bit wonky. Let's give that a reroll. Oh, the king's a bit rusty. He knows I have to pick up my kids. Uh, what did I say? Five plus? That can't be right. That's the goblin leader. Three plus. Only one of those hits. What? Oh, also, if you can't see, yeah, there's the one. There we go. Two fails. All right, and then the goblin defense. Six plus. Oh, so close. Sorry, Goblin, you are D-E-D -E -D dead. All right, the only Goblin that's left is the leader. Now... Hmm. <laughs> the Goblin in me is like, let those cannon fodder guys die, and I will do some maneuvering. Uh, but I don't know if that's smart or not. He's going to charge the king. He will charge the king. It's probably a big mistake. Um, but that's what he's going to do. Um, and I know rank and flank sort of stuff doesn't matter. But uh, that's what we're going to do. 
All right, so he has a quality of five. He gets also three attacks. He'll be versing the king's defense of four. The king has tough three. He has tough three. The king is in a better position, but we'll see how we go. What did I say? I need five plus. Puny goblin. Yeah! The bad moon shines on the goblin. We get two hits. Uh, and let's see what the king gets. Uh, his defense is four plus. He saves one, but he's going to take one of those as a wound. Ouch. Oh no. Let's uh, put that there as one wound. He's taken one wound. Alright. Alright. Alrighty. The start of turn three. Uh, we This is still contested, so we don't count that. The dwarves get another one, giving them two objectives. And uh, four go to the goblins. But wait! At the start of any turn, units with ambush can be deployed more than nine measuring units away from an enemy. Out of the ground, out of nowhere with a steel chair, comes some, uh, you know, we've got, remember we're using centimeters, not the inches, because we're in Australia and inches aren't real, right? And we're not imperial here. Uh, I mean, technically we are part of the empire. It's funny, you know, America is uh, not part of the empire, but still uses imperial. And Australia is part of the empire and doesn't use imperial. Funny that. Anyway, they're more than nine. So he's he's out of range for that one. And he's well, well out of nine uh, for, the, for, the, for the troll boy. So the miners are coming in with a bit of uh, ambush tactics. Also got him flanked here. Uh, and they're going to capture those points and make a mess of the Goblin's Day, I think. Uh, that's the plan anyway. So let's see how this plays out. Alright. Well, they're going to make a charge move. Now, you know how I said they're within eight? They are just within eight. Remember, we're going center to center. So they are just... This one guy is just within eight. The others will get close enough to get into engagement range. But because one of them gets there, they all get there. Um, happy days. They can move up to three additional inches uh, to, to charge. So there they are. They're going to take proactive first strike on uh, the troll. Um, yeah, so the, they get one attack each. Uh, and they are quality four. They also have shield wall. Shield wall... Gets plus one defense rolls that are not against spells. Wait, yeah? Yeah, that are not from spells. Well, that's cool. Good to know. So, they are four plus. Let's, um, let's see how they go. Uh, we got one hit. Man, these dice, they're really rolling RJ rolls, aren't they? Uh, cool. The defense of the troll is four plus. Let's see what he gets. He gets a two, so he will be taking a wound. Uh, and we will. He has tough three. So, we'll keep him. Sorry, I, I haven't sorted my dice out. I forgot I need all these fancy, fancy counters for things. Alright, there we go. So, uh, that is a troll. My tree keeps falling down. Uh, that is the troll. The troll can fight back, which he will do because he hasn't fought yet. Which is probably a big mistake for these guys. <laughs> oh, he has regeneration too. When taking a roll, a wound, roll one dice, five plus it's ignored. So let's do his regeneration. That's a five, baby. Ignore that wound. Whoops. That was an axe wound going into your head. Uh, now he's going to fight back. He has a four plus defense. Here we go. A four plus attack, sorry. And of course, RJ rolls, man. What do you want? I rolled one five in the last hour. What, do you, what more do you want from me? <laughs> we can't roll above a three. Don't be ridiculous. Uh, yeah, cool. So that's his turn, I guess. And uh, Well, it's not his turn, but that's his strike back. Uh, and that's the dwarf's first turn. Now let's do some do some stuff with, with other dudes. All right. I'm going to read from the rules here. Shooting. Page eight. Picking targets. When taking shooting action, a unit must pick one valid target and all models in that unit may shoot at it. If at least one model in the unit has line of sight to an enemy model and has a weapon that is within range of that model, then that enemy is a valid target. So, there's nothing there that says you cannot shoot into a group that is fighting. Uh, so, good news, trolley boy. <laughs> 
Uh, you're going to get some some help from these these three brave archers on the hill who are going to shoot into that combat to try and help you out. Uh, they each get one attack. They have a five plus quality. Here we go. If you have a rule, if you can give me the reference to where the rule is, uh, I'm sure that's not the case. But uh, you know, if if you can't shoot into a combat, show me where. Show me where in the rule book. Show me where it says no no hammocks. All right. Here we go. It's a very niche reference. I don't know if you get that. Five plus. Oh, we got a six, baby. The other two add to five. Can we count that? No, no, we can't. Uh, all right. So shield wall. They get a plus one to their defense. Uh, from, from this thing. They have a... Where are they? 5 plus defense. They have a 4 plus defense. Here we go. 4 plus. <gasps> they save it thanks to this shield wall. That's a bit rude. Man, we're just getting no kills. This is like Stormtroopers versus Red Shirts. What's going on? <laughs> That's the Goblin's activation. Let's find out what happens next. Actually, you know what? Let's do it right now. Uh, since they shot into combat, we're going to shoot into combat too. Uh, this miner... Uh, not minor, Marksman, is going to shoot the El Liderino. Actually, he's going to shoot the, the not El Liderino, not, not Liderino, uh, because that is more likely to kill them off. Makes it a bit easier. So, quality 4 plus. Here we go. It's a 6 for the dwarves. Killing off these filthy goblins. Uh, the goblin defense is going to be a 6, I'm pretty sure. Yep, 6 plus. Here we go. Oh, he saves it. Oh my gosh. This really is just the battle of the century, right? These dwarves and goblins have this vicious hatred of each other. They won't they won't give it up. <laughs> Shield Val versus Christian, man. They are taking it to the taking it to the streets. Uh, that's a Mystic Times reference there. I know none of you get that because no one gives a crap <laughs> about my stuff. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? Uh, Goblin's turn. Uh, who do we have left, I guess? Oh, you know what? Uh, this guy can fight, but he only hits on sixes. Uh, so let's do that too while we're here. Still got his three attacks. He only hits on sixes. Uh, here we go. Yeah, baby. He hits one. He only hits on sixes because he's fatigued, right? If I'm wrong about that, let me know in the comments. Uh, dwarves. They have the shield wall, which I'm guessing that applies as well. Plus one to defense against hits that are not spells. Well, this is not spells, so they still have a four plus. Here we go. Oh, are you kidding me? Clang on the armor. Well, there we go. There we have it. Um, it's back to the dwarf's turn. And the dwarf is gonna... Did we shoot with both miners? Yeah, we'll shoot with the other miner. If I've already shot with miner... I'll see when I edit it, and I apologize, but the second miner is going to do the same thing. Uh, what did we say he needed? It was literally a second ago. See what I mean? My brain is absolutely fried. He needs four plus. Here we go. Bam. That's a four plus, baby. Uh, goblin defense, six plus. No can defense. All right. Your toast, Mr. Magoo. There we go. All right. Goblin's turn. Uh, they are going to attack with the... We'll attack with the leader. Leader on leader action, baby. Actually, no. We'll attack with the with the one little crappy warrior because then he might be able to charge charge out or whatever. You know, the leader might be able to go and actually do something. Mm, wait. That one guy isn't going to be able to kill the leader, but the goblin leader might if he gets lots of, lots of damage. So, uh, here we go. So, it will be the leader. Leader on leader. Here we go. Leader on leader. Oh, you're kidding me. Five pluses, not a single hit. This is why we need spells. <laughs> uh, and then the dwarf, the king, is going to have his attack also on uh, on the on the guy. Uh, yep, so he's got three attacks. Uh, yeah, three attacks. Three plus. Look at that. There's some RJ rolls right there. One, six... And a three, and a three. And that's why we're not getting any other good rolls. Uh, okay, so now we're down to our last guy. And so apparently the way this works... I've got to find my rules. Not again, where'd I put them? On the floor. Ugh. Right, so now they go, like, stunned versus dead. So two to five is stunned. Six plus is a knockout. What if it's a one? At least one die roll. Add the number of wound markers on it. Oh, yes, okay. 
Yes, well, he, okay, he's got one wound marker, uh, and so he needs two to five or six plus. Six plus, he's dead. Uh, he's just stunned. Plonk. There you go, clobber. Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, so who do we have left? Oh, he was going to attack. He can't attack. Now he's stunned. Yes, there we go. Miner, he's here to contest this. Do I have my little contest? We'll deal with that later. That's his turn. There are no more goblins left. And this miner activates. And that means the turns will switch on the next turn. All right, an interesting turn of events. Uh, because of the miners... Sneaky tactics. They goblins did not get any victory points this turn, and they got an additional two, taking them from two up to three, which puts them on five. It's the last turn. What a swing, swingy battle! Now I could not find the rules for what you do with the stunned guy. It says if you want to push him, you can move him two inches if you roll a four plus. Um, but I don't know how to not make him stunned question mark so if you do know that please chuck it in the comments below but this is the last turn and that's good because it's almost time for me to go and get my kitty kids uh so happy freaking days uh wow what a what a turn of events that ambush really came into play and the goblins need to capture you know they need to you know capture some points is what needs to happen uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, now, the dwarves finished last this turn, so the goblins get to go first. Another question for chat. Can you attack and then move, or do you have to move and attack? I'm going to say you can attack and move. I think it's like D&D, &D, right? Uh, if I am wrong, please put that in a, uh, in, in a comment somewhere and tell me where it says I cannot attack and move. Like where it says I have to, have to do my thing. Uh, you know, if it was the whole army moving, the whole army attacking, whatever, I, I get it. But in this case, uh, the goblin, the troll, sorry, is going to swing at these big boys and try to knock the heck out of them. Uh, yes, he's got three weapons quality. Four, come on, we need four plus on all three of these dice if the goblins are going to win. Oh, so close. They get some defense, though, before we do that. Shield wall means that they have a defense... Of four plus for these two. Are you kidding me? These dwarves, man. Look, don't get me wrong. Goblins. I have a soft spot for goblins. Uh, <laughs> I just don't like seeing no one die. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's a battle game. We're meant to be battling. People are meant to be taking wounds. No one's taking wounds. These dwarves. Look, they've got their big shields. Happy days. They're they're doing great. Um, are they going to attack back? It is in their best interest to just keep this guy locked up. So, they might even just hold, right? They just need to hold for one turn. So, they're going to hold on their turn. Um, and that's two activations, I guess. Now we got to deal with what's next. Um, for the goblins, I think the king is going to try and kill the king. Let's do that. Goblin spell lord, shaman, puppet master. is going to try and kill the... Can I zoom in? Make it nicer. No, it's all wobbly and gross if I zoom in. Do the old physical zoom. That does not look good either. <laughs> I'm sorry, the video quality on this is absolutely terrible. I will up my game. A big part of it's the lighting. It's a very gloomy day here today. Anyway, here we go. We're going to make an attack. Five plus. ka -chow! Uh, you Look, see? RJ rolls, man. <laughs> the king will strike back though uh, and that's free for him so well, we've got to switch over to his dice and he does not have 4 plus he has th 5 plus, sorry, he has 3 plus and look at that look at that, 2 hits the goblin will take uh, he has a defense of 5 he saves 1 but he's going to take a wound uh, does he have anything fancy to avoid that wound? no, he's just tough 3 so we will give him we'll give him a yellow marker because that's all I have. He has one wound. One wound. You know what? The king is going to take his turn. He has fatigue, but he's going to give it a go anyway. Uh, he needs sixes. He did not get sixes. That's the king's turn. Now I've got some goblins to deal with. Whoops, I knocked a... Knocked a shooty boy over. Well, what can these guys do to even it out? 
they really need to capture two points, which is not really possible at the moment uh, for them. You know, I guess they can. Yeah, in in vengeance, maybe shoot uh shoot this dwarf. Let's have a crack. They're gonna turn around. Well, you know, do you have a facing in this game? I don't know. They are not currently looking at him anyway, so I'm going to turn him around just for lore perspective. And man, that's a dodgy shot. The graphics just look so garbage. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, everybody. Joy of War Gaming, I've let you down. I've let you down with my crappy graphics and lighting. And you even said that in your video. Lighting is key. I've got so much light here, but it's not enough. It's just not enough. Um, I've actually uh, exposure compensated, I think. I can't change it while I'm recording. We'll see if I can change it in the next one. You know, I'll keep it all this way so the whole video is crappy. And um, we'll see if we can fix it for the next one. Blah, blah, blah. They're shooting. they got five plus. <gasps> ka -chow. Ooh. One hits. The miner does not have a shield wall. Oh, he has an explosive, though. I know what he's doing next turn if he survives. He has a defense of five plus. Which he does not get! He takes a wound. Uh, now he so so he has one wound counter. Uh, if it's six plus, so if two, 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 so one, two, three, four, five, he's he's toast. Uh, he's fine, sorry. And six, he's like no wait, five and six, he's like dead because you're adding one, right? So he's just stunned. We'll give him a wound counter. I'm gonna find one. Oh my gosh. There you go. He is stunned. Well, we're here. This guy. Is he within 12? He's just out. So he's going to move that, that little bit. And then he's going to chuck an explosive at, uh, at old mate on the hill. And try and knock him out. Uh, he has a quality of 4 plus. 4 plus hits. Uh, Goblin Shooter has a defense of 6 plus. That's a bit wonky. Let's give it another go, shall we? Oh, that was going to be a five. But even then, it would have been too small. So he is D-E-D -E dead. Yes, spelling. I'm an English teacher, can you tell? Uh, <laughs> and then I think the only person left to activate... Ooh, the marksman can shoot on the dwarf side. But the only person on my side who can activate is the stunned guy. And I don't think he has the ability to do anything because he's stunned unless I want to push him which I don't uh, so the marksman's going to shoot at him uh, and see if he will hit him now if he does hit it's instant dead right that's my understanding and that is going to be a hit I'm pretty sure 4 plus hits he is out of the count D.E.D. -E dead alright and that unit is out but the half that's not half my army so Whatever. Uh, and the final marksman, he's going to shoot at the, the leader, goblin leader. He's going to hit. The goblin leader gets a defense roll of 5+, plus, which he will not make, which takes him up to 2 wounds. But he's tough, so it doesn't matter. And that's the end of the turn. Uh, the end of the goblin's turn. The, they, the heroes win by 8. Well, the heroes. Boo, you're not heroes. You're stinky dwarves from your mountains. Uh, they have an eight to eight to four victory. Um, yeah, that's the that's the game. I hope it was entertaining. I'm sorry for the terrible quality. Uh, you probably got a lot of rustling of my hands touching the thing. Um, hopefully, the other camera has recorded all the audio, and we can do that. Yeah, I hope you had fun. I had fun. I can't believe those dice, though. How come no one died? What the heck was this? Oh my gosh, I did like the sneaky ambush. That was very dwarvy. Trixie dwarves. Us goblins don't appreciate that. Uh, we, we Trixie goblins will scurry back to our swamp and secede this ground and we will return later. Maybe we'll send some of our big brothers, the orcs, in to um, attack a bit more strongly. Or maybe we'll have a game with more points. We'll see. Anyway, I hope you had fun. Ciao for now.